This video is brought to you by the Turtle Flakes Podcast. Turtle Flakes, the tasty breakfast treat that tastes just like pizza. Prepare to get shell-shocked. Cowabunga dudes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and welcome to another episode of Totally Tubular Turtle Tuesday, the one day of the week where I devote my channel to something TMNT related. So for this episode, I'll be taking a look at... The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Vintage Collection, The Hard-Headed Horned Hoodlum Triceraton. Now, I am very stoked that I have this guy in my collection. He's got an amazing sculpt and really cool paints, and I really love his blasters. There's something about a giant orange alien dinosaur with blasters that's just very cool to me. I am so stoked, and I cannot wait to check him out with you guys. But before we take a closer look at the figure, let's give you a quick rundown of all the radical things that he comes with. So Triceraton does come with some pretty cool accessories. Starting off, he comes with his Neutron Neutralizer, his Laser Phaser, and his Unearthly Utility Belt. So with the accessories out of the way, let's take a closer look at Triceraton. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at Triceraton. Very happy to have this guy in my collection. He's such a classic figure. I'm so stoked that I have him. He's so cool. In my opinion, just definitely one of the, like the the coolest bad guys in TMNT because he's just so big and he's a big giant brute. I mean, he's a giant orange alien dinosaur triceratops. That's insane and I absolutely love it. Such a cool design. Now, I actually drew this guy, uh, I believe, last year, uh, and I just had such a fun time drawing him. Uh, a lot of my art is based on these old classic toys. Uh, you can even see the weapons are colored the exact same way as the toys. But I had to draw this guy because he just has such a really cool design, and I had a lot of fun doing that. But this character is just so rad. I believe this figure is technically, I could be wrong, uh, Commander Mozar. Uh, Commander Mozar being the leader of the Triceratons. I'm pretty sure this figure is technically supposed to be Commander Mozar, um, but they just call him Triceraton on the box, you know what I mean? So that's a little fun fact, but the design is fantastic. Lots of great sculpting in this, really in, like, in the skin and the head and whatnot. You know, a lot of people don't really understand how fantastic and how kind of spoiled we were with things like the sculpt and the paint for a lot of these older figures, and they were just really, really good. So nice bright orange skin, got some blue around the uh, and the details around his like face and whatnot, around the eyes and his, his beak right there. Even his abs are blue for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, the horns look really good. You see some paint wear on mine, because mine is old. You see a piece of wrapping right around one of the horns like that. Lots of great detail on this. The silver on this guy looks really, really good. Very well done. Nice and crisp still on mine. Got these big gauntlets with like spikes and whatnot. Yeah, like I said, purple gloves. The colors is, is weird because he's orange, silver, light blue, purple, turquoise pants. Like the colors are just insane. And these color, this color palette really shouldn't work on this kind of figure, but it does. And I don't know why it does, but I love it, and it's gorgeous. So you got some more spikes over here, looks really good. You can see even his uh, armor, yeah, I guess, is molded over his back uh, plates, whatnot, which is pretty interesting. Uh, it's pretty cool, but look at all the rivets and things like that. That's really rad. I love the tail. You can see all the sculpted detail on the tail. Even on the inside, uh, it is painted in that gray. But in, the, in, in, in classic TMNT fashion, if, if someone has pants, they have to be ripped at some point, right? For the most part, so you can see his knees kind of peeking through right there, which is very cool. Even his toenails are, like, painted and his fingernails are painted. That's very, very freaking cool. I love that so, so much. All right, so let's armor him up a bit. Let's put some of his gear on. 
Uh, so we got his belt right here. Uh, this is pretty rad. So just molding in solid gray. You can see some artillery shells right up in there. Lots of pouches and whatnot. Looks like a couple grenades right here. And then you got some rats. Yeah, he has some rats on there. <laughs> well, from what I read in the bio, I guess it says like their favorite snack or their favorite food. Kind of like how the turtles love eating pizza. Uh, I guess Triceratons love eating rats. So, yeah. Like, why wouldn't he have some, you know, when he's in battle, he's going to want to munch on some things. He needs a little snack. So, I think that's pretty cool that they even did that. It's stuff like that that the classic line did. It would just made me fall in love with it so, so much. So those added fun things and, oh, I just love it so, so much. All right, so let's get some of his weapons in here. He has this one here. This is a very unique looking blaster. I love this. It almost looks like a mouth right there, kind of shooting, but it's, this is all Alien Dimension X type of weaponry. Even got spikes on it, that's insane. I don't know why it has spikes, but hey, why not, right? I guess if it's out of ammo, why don't I just use it as a melee weapon and smash some turtles in the face with those spikes? We, that's pretty dark, right? I'm sorry. So get that in one hand like there. That looks really cool. I love that. I love his weapons for some reason. They're just so cool. He just screams like Alien Tough Guy. I love it. You got this thing right here. This is pretty rad. I love this weapon right here. Look at that thing. It's got like a, almost like a banana clip kind of thing going on right there. Even has a blast shield going around that barrel like that. That's so freaking cool. Man, what a rad weapon. I love that so, so much. That's I wouldn't mind having something like this in real life. That's pretty cool. So I get this and the other hand like, see, hands are really tight on this guy. So get like that and you go, bam, look at that. Oh man, look at that guy. He's so awesome. Would you want to mess with this type of dude coming at you? Just a big orange dinosaur dude with rats hanging off his belt and these big old guns just coming at you. Heck no, you don't want to mess with that dude. <laughs> he is so tough. But that's such a cool look. I love, and even this blue is just such, it's just a, a, almost like a violet blue to it in the hue of the, of the colors that it, it, it contrasts with the colors of the figure even better. And Again, like I said, these colors shouldn't work together, but they really do, and I absolutely adore it. It looks so awesome to me. So again, another great figure from Playmates. His vintage line is so beautiful. I love it so, so much. So let's take these off real, real quick, and let's show the, the articulation, because it's pretty standard. Head just turns left and right like so. Arms can go all the way around, full 360 like that. Uh, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist. The hips are on those like kind of like ball joints, so they just kind of roll around, go up and down, back and forth. Going to do the splits a little bit, and that's really about all you're going to get. But with him, you also get the tail. The tail does rotate like so. So again, pretty standard for the classic line. So overall, if you are looking to get this figure, man, I, I really suggest picking him up. He's so cool. In my opinion, he's one of those characters that wasn't too, um, too obscure. He's, in my opinion, a really main villain, especially if you watch the cartoons or read the books. The Triceraton are very main characters, uh, very main, uh, main species of characters in the TMNT universe. So I highly suggest picking him up because he is definitely one of my favorite vintage figures and he is definitely a must get. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Captain America figure as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your TMNT comparison, here he is standing next to a vintage Storage Shell Raphael figure and a Muckman figure. And just for fun, here he is standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is, guys. My review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Vintage Collection Triceraton. Now, overall, I just think this is a really fun toy. I definitely had so much fun with him as a kid, just bashing him around and having him beat up my turtles. He's a giant orange dinosaur with laser weapons. That's pretty rad, and I've always loved that. He's got a great sculpt, really cool vibrant colored paint, and absolutely radical accessories. He's definitely one tough dinosaur, and I cannot recommend him enough. So if you're a giant fan of the Triceratons, then this piece is definitely a must get. And with all these things, make him for one totally tubular action figure. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Cowabunga dudes, and stay nerdy, my friends.
Peace.